What's up everybody and welcome back. In case you don't know who this person is right here in front of you talking, my name is Sonya by the way. Today we are going to meal prep, but we're going to do something exciting. I just bought something that's gonna make meal prepping fun and exciting. Did I say exciting twice? Because I'm really excited. Are you ready to do this? Let's get started. In case you guys didn't know or if this is your first time tuning in, I've just gotten back from a lot of travel. I think I've probably been on about 14 planes this year starting from January. Whew, it's been a lot. I've done some travel meal prep videos, some workout videos. If you haven't seen any of those, I'll go ahead and link them up here and also put them down in the, in the description. There were some great tips and ideas to help you stay on track when you're not at home, when you're not in your kitchen, when you're not at your local gym, wherever. So be sure to check those videos out, okay? Enough of that. So like I said, I went and picked me up something that I've been dying to use that I haven't used since I moved to Texas. And I've been here three years. Yes, three years in Texas. Woo! I bought a grill. Yes, I did, and I put it together yesterday. Check that out. So why did I buy a grill for meal prepping? Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell you. One, you are going to save a lot of time and money. Why? Because you can cook in bulk. Look, I've got this whole pack of chicken. This is six pounds of chicken breast. I've got some turkey cutlets. Yes, we are about to cook it up in here today. So I can cook in bulk. I can cook a lot of food at once so I don't have to slave over a hot stove or bake anything in the oven. Plus, I get to go outside and get some vitamin D. So grill, meal prepping is the way to go, especially in the summer. And if you live in an environment where you can grill all year round, go ahead and do that. I've grilled in the snow before too. Let's go ahead and preheat that grill. That way we can get some things started. I'm gonna go ahead and get my sweet potatoes on because they will actually take the longest. So grill's gonna get turned on, sweet potatoes on the grill, and then we can come back and put everything else together. I've got some new spices I wanna try. Let's do this. It's a gas grill. I don't have time for charcoal and all that stuff. And me, I never get it right. All right, so go ahead and turn it on. All right, I can feel the heat already coming out. It's getting hot. So this temperature gauge on top of the grill will let me know when it's ready. Uh, when it's about 350, I can go ahead and start putting the potatoes on there and then we can go ahead and prep the rest of the stuff. See, temperature gauge. All right, so I went ahead and I washed off all my sweet potatoes. I got three big sweet potatoes here. I'm going to slit them in the middle and then poke some little holes in them. The great thing I think about grilling sweet potatoes or even baking them is it changes the taste. I can pop these in the microwave for about six to eight minutes usually when I'm you know, wanting something very quick. It just doesn't taste the same. Baking your sweet potatoes, but definitely grilling your sweet potatoes, it's going to change the game. It's gonna kick it up a notch. So, very simple. We're not gonna do much to them. Slit them, wrap them in some aluminum foil because one thing that sweet potatoes do do <laughs> is they do make a lot of juices. So you wanna make sure that's really tight. Otherwise your grill or your oven is gonna get really messy really quick and it starts smelling and burning, all right? And that's it. This is gonna cook for about an hour to about an hour and 20. Whenever you can stick a fork through it, you know it's done. And that's the easiest way to cook one of your carb sources right there. You can top it with a little bit of cinnamon, uh, brown sugar if you really want, if you have the macros for it. Otherwise, I eat these plain because really, they are sweet enough. I'm gonna put these on the grill and then come back and start on the chicken. 
So everyone knows how much I love Costco, right? I love buying in bulk. I love the samples. Oh my gosh, I love the samples. Shh, don't tell nobody that I go back to two. Wait a minute, are you one of those people below that goes to Costco and takes maybe more than one sample for that imaginary friend over there? If you are, comment below. Hey, do you want one? <laughs> for that imaginary person. Let me know below. Hey, do you want one? For you know, you Costco snack stealers or whatever you call yourself. Anyway, but I went to Sam's, Sam's Club. And every once in a while, they have some really good deals and really good things that just Costco doesn't carry. And I found these Weber spices, right? Actually, hold on. So today we're gonna to be using the chili lime rub. And then I've got a honey garlic rub. And also at some point in time in the near future, I'm going to use this Mediterranean herb one. I have an Asian garlic rub to use. I think they were like five or six bucks. You know what, I'll put the price right here once I find it, if I find it. But uh, these are pretty good. We'll put these away for now. Chili lime rub that I'm gonna use on the chicken. Now I have chicken breast and I have drumsticks. My son is a little bit tired of eating chicken breast. So he said, mom, can I have some drumsticks? I said, yes, you're about to go away to college. Sure, for you, I'll make an exception. Love you, boy. All right, but uh, I don't eat a lot of chicken, you know, drumsticks or thighs or darker meat because it is more fattier and I am on a weight loss deficit. So I'm trying to cut calories, not really add in extra fat calories, but it's really good. So I, I actually do like drumsticks. And then we also have some turkey cutlets, you know, some turkey pork chops, some turkey steaks, whatever you call them. Um, these are 99% fat free. I mean, 99% fat free. So basically for a four ounce serving, you're, it's 120 calories. It's going to be zero carb, like 0.5 grams of fat. So really nothing. And then you're going to get 28 grams of protein in one of these. And we're going to use the honey garlic rub on the turkey. All right. And then with the chicken, I'm going to make a jalapeno lime yogurt dressing to go over top because you know chicken sometimes gets dry and even if you you know brine it and do things like that when you go to reheat it up you need something right you need a sauce so i'm going to make a jalapeno lime yogurt dressing to go right over that chicken so stay tuned it's about to be popping up in this kitchen so let's go ahead and get the dryer up on the chicken i've got a lot of chicken so let's you know, take it out of it individually wrapped bags and just put all the chicken in there with the chili lime rub on that and get that going. I'm gonna throw a couple of fresh limes on there as well to really enhance that flavor. And then some pepper and some garlic because you know, I never do anything just by itself. Gotta always kick it up a notch. One thing about grilling chicken breasts on the, on the grill is that, see chicken right here is pretty thick, right? And then down here is pretty thin. So when I go ahead and put that on the, on the surface, this is going to cook really fast and this is going to take a long time. So we wind up, you know, overcooking chicken to make sure that in the center it's cooked all the way through. So what I like to do, get a plastic bag like this, put your chicken in the bag. I have this olive oil or you can use like, I have an avocado oil one too. Got these from HEB, a no stick cooking spray. They actually come out like actual oil. So the only ingredient in here is olive oil. The reason I spray a little bit of oil on the chicken is so that it doesn't rip apart. So just a little bit. Make sure you get all the air out. And I always hit it with the, like the good side up, not the bottom. So since the chicken is so thick, let's thin it out. So I've got it in the bag. I've got my oil on the chicken. Now you just need something to beat the heck out of it. I've got a bottle here, okay? Make sure it's on tight. And you're gonna whack it several times to make sure that it flattens out. We want one thickness to the chicken to go on the grill. So the chicken is nice and thin. It's all one thickness now, so it's gonna cook very evenly. I got about nine more chicken breasts to do, and then we'll come back in a minute and then start seasoning. All right, so I went ahead and I beat all the meat up. It's all nice one layer. Took out the chicken out the uh, bag. Let's go ahead and put some fresh lime juice over it. Now I always microwave my limes for about 30 seconds. It really does release all the juice out of it. It makes it a lot easier. <laughs> it makes it a lot easier 
to get the juice out. All right, so that was the juice of one lime on, the, on each of the chicken sources. I'm gonna use about a one tablespoon of this seasoning. It's a little heaping tablespoon, but hey, whatever. And then just gonna sprinkle that on pretty generously. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of garlic to that as well, because I just love garlic. And that's about one teaspoon of garlic. Take a little bit of the avocado spray and spray it right on the chicken. And if you count it, that was about 15 seconds of holding that spray down. So this is done. I'm gonna set this to the side, take the chicken. I like just to rub it all in. I need to add a little bit extra, that's fine as well. I don't like my food to be bland, everybody knows that. Flavor is your friend. Just wanna make sure all the sides have a nice, good amount of dressing on it, as well as some of that lime juice. Since this is the first time that I use the seasoning, me and you both will find out if it's any good. Otherwise, I need to stop bragging about it. But I've used Weber's before, um, not too bad. I won't be my only seasoning that I use. All right, so the chicken's all done. We'll put that to the side. Again, let that marinate. Ideally, you want your food to marinate for about four to six hours with that dry rub on there. I don't have time for that. It's already, I don't know what time it is. It's 5.20, sun goes down to eight o'clock and bugs come out, so I wanna be done. We got some turkey breast cutlets next. All right, if there's any fat like that on there, you can go ahead and take that off, just cut it off. Other than that, it's looking pretty lean to me. Just like the chicken, I'm going to use some kind of, you know, acidity. I have a lemon right here. I'm gonna have to get one of those uh, lemon pressers. I do actually have the hand one, but I'm just not in the mood for all that. That was a juicy lemon. Okay, I have this honey garlic rub it's gluten free i'm going to use one heaping tablespoon and i know this said honey garlic but you can never have too much you probably could and a little black pepper and if you notice i'm not adding any extra salt um these already have some salt in there there's roughly about 180 milligrams per teaspoon Typically three teaspoons make a tablespoon. So in all actuality, it's not a lot. It's actually a pretty good amount. So we'll just leave that like that. I do want to add a little bit of honey. I know, just, I have to. So I'm not gonna waste my time trying to pour it into a table, a measuring spoon. I'm gonna put it on the scale and we'll see how much I use. Come on, a little bit of honey bear. Give me what you got. Got a lot left in there. That little bit, which took all that time to do, was uh, 10 grams. So that's 10 grams of honey, not a lot. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go in there and mix these out with my hands. I just don't want to, but you know, it's a necessary evil. I wanna make sure that honey gets spread out throughout the meat. All right, so we're gonna go in. I wanna add a little bit more sauce, a little bit more spice just in case. We're good to go there, and in the hands they go. All right, so that's all done. I need to go wash up my hands, clean up all this meat because we are done putting the meat together so I don't have to keep worrying about, oh, am I contaminating anything? No, I'm not. I'm gonna wash my hands when I clean up and I'll be back. I mean, it feels so much better to be outside than inside, right? I've got some olive oil spray. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. It's not, you know, you can spray a cool one, but whatever. <laughs> Don't try that at home. All right, drumsticks on first. Anytime you cook meat on the bone, um, it takes longer, right? Now the thing about cooking any type of meat like this is, once you lay the meat down, do not, do not move it until you're ready to start flipping it. So I'm gonna put the pretty side down, you know, the side that you wanna see with all the grill marks. I'm cheating, I'm trying to get all the meat on at once. And this is why I love cooking on the grill. I mean, look, I ain't gotta be inside all day long. Now, mind you, there is air conditioning inside. It is hot out here, I live in Texas. But fresh air, vitamin D, you can't beat it, can you? All right, let's get back inside. All right, so I'm back in here in the air conditioning. Whew, it's not as sunny in here though. Uh, but it's time to go ahead and make this sauce. I have one 
of these little self-serve, you know, cups of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And you can use whatever kind of blender you are, uh, you have. I have the magic blender, magic bullet. <laughs> so we we'll use that. Now we have jalapeno here. Now, depending on how spicy you like it, don't add the seeds in, right? I've said this many times before, the spicier it is, the more seeds are in. So we'll take half those out. Don't want everybody hating on me. And we'll put that in. And we'll put that half in. We'll leave that half out. A little bit of lime juice. Woo! See, put it in the microwave. Look at that. Just juicy deliciousness. We'll put a little bit of salt, probably like one fourth of a teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. A little black pepper, same thing, about a fourth of a teaspoon, probably even a little bit less. And just cause I wanted a little, little sweet, we'll add some honey. Yes, Mr. Bear is floating around. He's reached his last life, but he's gonna go in. Not too much, just a couple. And to be exact, that is four grams of honey. You know, a bunch of cilantro. Let's see, about a fourth of a cup. All goes in the blender. Shake it up. Bam! That's good. All right, gonna put this on the chicken. Yeah, believe me, it's good. All right, time to go ahead and turn the chicken. It's been five minutes. Don't want the uh, chicken breast to overcook again because we smashed them <laughs> because we beat the heck out of those chickens. They're gonna cook fast. So let's go ahead and turn them. All right, so we have a couple minutes before we need to take the chicken off, the chicken breast. Let's go ahead and make the marinade for the veggies. So we have a lot of vegetables that we're using. I'm gonna use one half cup of balsamic vinegar along with a half a cup of avocado oil. Now it may seem like a lot of oil, but do you see how many vegetables I have here? Like, look, I mean, I have about eight peppers total. I have a whole onion. We have about five zucchini and four uh, squash. Okay, so that's a lot of vegetables that we need to coat. One teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. You, you guys know how much I love my Himalayan pink salt. And if you don't know, well, now you know. What song is that? Comment below if you know what song that is. If you don't know, now you know. I'm back on the Weber kick. We have this Webby, uh, Webby. We have this Weber grill seasoning, veggie seasoning. So basically everything's gonna be about a teaspoon of seasoning. Two teaspoons of parsley. I just love my herbs. All right, so that's coming along pretty good. Now we need a little bit of sweetness in there. I found Papa Bear. Baby Bear had, you know, we use all his stuff because we liked it so much. All right. We're gonna put about 10 grams of honey in here as well. Go ahead and mix that up. All right, that's all done. Set that to the side. Clean this stuff up. If you notice guys, I like to clean as I go. I know mom, dad, you're laughing. Yeah, but I do. Normally I have like, you know, a, a someone in here helping me wash dishes. There will be later. Um, but for right now, you gotta clean as you go. Keep your area clean. I say this all the time. I always wash my vegetables in three part water, one part vinegar. Plain water is just not gonna cut it. There's things that they spray these with, they fall on the floor at the stores. Just rinsing it doesn't work, okay? I can cut up the vegetables, but my chicken might burn. So let's go get the chicken off first. Weber, I feel you, I see you. Mm. All right. Let's get started because um, I'm gonna sit here and eat all this chicken. I have to get these turkey cutlets on. So this summer, I am going to be putting this grill to use. That means I'm gonna be grilling everything. I have so many like ideas in my head that I can't think properly. <laughs> but we are going to put this grill to use. So make sure you subscribe, you know, turn on that bell notification button so when I upload, you are notified and you don't miss anything because who knows what I'm cooking next? Who knows? All right, so it's been about three minutes. You see the turkey is already white because that's 
like a sign of how turkey cooks. So let's go ahead and flip that. Yeah, that's what the grill marks I was looking for before. All right, so I'll let this cook for another three minutes and we'll take that off. But you know what? Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Thanks, Guy Mono on. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because I post workout videos. I post different pictures of food. I've been really loving this breakfast scramble and I've been talking about it a lot on Instagram. Matter of fact, you see this right here? Well, wherever I'm gonna put it. I love this thing and you don't wanna miss out on things like that, all right? Excuse me, Mr. I wanna cut my lawn right now or Miss, Mrs. I wanna cut my lawn. Anyway, let me say this real quick. So yesterday, we put the grill together. My back was killing me. I was bent over for like an hour but I still went to the gym and got my workout on. It was a uh, it was a pull day, so back and biceps, and I was done after that workout. Matter of fact, I think you should try it. I'm gonna go ahead and screenshot the workout. If you try it, let me know. Let me know that you tried it, but it was a doozy. So check it out, let me know what you think. We got to move this inside the garage now. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'll leave that down. All right. Time out. Be back in a second. Need some help getting this in before I burn myself up. All right. The party don't stop. We cook it in the garage now. Normally, I like to cook outside, but thunder, lightning, I don't do that very well. Time to get this turkey off. It's getting a little hairy out here, so we're gonna hurry and make this inside. Uh, turkey's off, rain's coming, chicken's done. I, I just moved the drumettes. Oh, that was a stick. <laughs> I just moved the drum sticks up to the top layer, and then let's go ahead and get the vegetables on, and then we are done. Like another 30 minutes. Hopefully the rain stays away. Michael, you touch this food, you die. All right, so we gotta hurry up. All right, so I'm gonna take the zucchini, and I'm gonna cut it in half like this. I'm gonna keep them whole. When you cook vegetables, you don't want them to be too thin, otherwise they'll fall between the racks. Or you could use like one of those grill pans or those like wire uh, mesh things as well. You could use a foil pack, however you want. You know what I say, you gotta eat the rainbow, right? So I like my colors. We got orange, red, yellow, green, purple, Got that marinade, I'll pour half of it on here, the other half here, save a little bit for the last three, and do a little shake and shimmy. All right, the rain is coming down, but we are not stopping, we are going back out there. A little rain never hurt nobody. I'm gonna put this down, face side down, just like that. See, if you cut them too small, they will already fall. Does that not look pretty? Do you want to eat what's on there? We got yellow, green, purple, red. Only thing I don't have is blue, but that's fine. I don't need to eat that part of the rainbow today. I have blueberries in my smoothie today. Bam. Hey, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah, smoothie. Do you want to see a smoothie recipe? If so, comment, Sonya smoothie recipe. But like I said, this grill is getting a lot of use. Look at that. I've got my veggies, meat, and we had the carbs already. We're done meal prepping for at least, I don't know. I had an unexpected visitor pop up, so that will just um, decrease my rations here. Okay, there's a hurricane coming and I'm losing rations. All right, 
That's it, folks. <laughs> All right, we got to close this up. That rain is coming down. But we ain't stopping. No, sorry. All right, we got some mushrooms we're going to add here, too. All right, folks, so we finally finished. It is 7.38, so two hours later, all this food is done, cooked, whatever. We survived the tornado, the hurricane, the monsoon, whatever that was coming down, we made it. So we have three sources of protein. We got some chicken drumettes, we've got uh, chicken breasts, and then we have turkey cutlets. Over here, we have a smorgasburg, smorgasburg, whatever it is, uh, vegetables. We have yellow squash green zucchini, assortment of your color uh, bell peppers. We have some red onions. I even grilled up some white mushrooms in that same balsamic glaze. So all that, plus don't forget about our sweet potatoes. Let me tell you, look how juicy this looks. I don't know, but when you cook this and grill this, it is so different than something in the microwave. I mean, that is just like pure sugar right there. I don't even need to put anything on that. All right. Mm. I've made my plate. Yes, I did. I have some of that yogurt jalapeno sauce here. We're going to put that right over top of the chicken just like that. I don't know about you, but uh, it's about to go down up in here. So if you want recipes like this, in case you didn't know, I do actually have a meal prep recipe cookbook called It's a Meal Prep Thing, available now only on GoodDaySewing.com. Um, it's only $14.99. There are a lot of recipes in the cookbook from your proteins to your veggies to desserts to snacks, different things like that. Be sure to check it out. You won't be sorry. Again, it's available at gooddaysonia.com for purchase on your Kindle or Android or iOS device, however you do it. That's how we do it here. I'm tired of talking. It's time to eat. <sighs> Let's get us some of these veggies first. I don't know what's... It's a, it should be a crime to eat like this, but it's not. It's so good. Mm -hmm. That was hot. But let me tell you, that thing is so juicy. I put it in my mouth and it's just like bursting, bursting flavor. Let's try the uh, red bell pepper. I don't know about you, but my camera person behind the, uh, the, the camera right there is getting a little mad because I'm eating in front of them and uh, I'm not offering any right now, but they'll get some later. I promise. Mm. Peanut gallery over here staring at me too, and I don't care. Hmm. Let's try this chicken. Get a little bit of that yogurt sauce on there. That's good. Sweet potato. I'm just eating it all. Mmm. All right. To keep eating would be torture. I hope you like the video. I hope you like the new content, the new format. I'm really trying to include a lot more things in it, just besides meal prepping. But I don't want to get away from my roots. Meal prepping is where it started but I do like working out a lot. If you tried that workout, let me know. It really is a killer. I'm really starting to see a lot of, of changes in my body that I didn't see six months ago, so you gotta get at it. All right, this is enough of this. You know what I always say, folks, have you missed it? Stay focused, stay positive, and keep it moving. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.